Duda. Ja mam pytanie w odniesieniu do tego, co mówił pan prezydent Andrzej Duda. Chodzi oczywiście o prezydentów, stwarzają najemnicy z grupy Wagnera, jeśli rzeczywiście są na Białorusi. Wy posyłacie swoje kordony, jak same i jakiej reakcji wy oczekujecie? Czy zielonają takie domki, aby prodowżyć tę zaboronę nawet do końca potocznego roku? I zapytanie do prezydenta Ukrainy Wołodymra Zelenskiego. Jeśli Ukraina nie poczuje... Suspilne telewizyjne Ukraina, bądź ласka. The question arises, what is the purpose of this relocation? What are the real intentions of the Wagner Group forces? In other words, the Russian army precisely in Belarus. Are they intended to occupy Belarus or to create an additional threat from the north towards Ukraine by potentially launching an attack on Ukraine from Belarus? Or is it a form of potential threat precisely towards our countries, towards NATO countries, towards Poland? Our army believes that the situation in the north of our country, in the north of Ukraine, is unchanged and the situation is under control. We are an adequate state and we understand that we cannot be a member of NATO in times of war. But we must be sure that after the war, we will be. And this is the signal we want to receive, that after the war, Ukraine will be a member of NATO. When Russia is blocking our grain initiative at sea, we have the right to be able to at least have transit. It is complicated now. It goes beyond Polish-Ukrainian relations. It has reached the EU level. Ursula von der Leyen promised me that after the 15th of July, there will be no blocking. We will see. Ukraine will become a NATO member. Lithuania supports Ukraine's membership of NATO. It must be clearly stated in Vilnius that Ukraine is a part of the transatlantic security architecture and we need to agree on the path to Ukraine's membership. Of course we are waiting for the appropriate responses from our partners, NATO allies to this situation. I have no doubt that you will hear a lot from me and other colleagues in Vilnius about the fact that the new status quo in Belarus after the Wagner rebellion requires careful attention and solutions.